Hey everybody, what's going on? One here, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Pro Wrestling Loot Box unboxing video, which look at this. I mean, this is a pretty thick box. It is the November edition of the Pro Wrestling Loot Box and they said that this one would be packed with, I believe, and I could be wrong because I tend to forget things, two instead of one t-shirt. So this is a mystery box. You never know what you're gonna get. You can get a couple of different things. And remember, this is November, which means that just a month from now, it is Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful time of year. Let me know which is your favorite Christmas wrestling themed item that you've gotten yourself or somebody gave to you. So now looking inside the box, we do have, we do have indeed two shirts. So I don't look like an idiot. This is the first one. And here it is, it's a black one. We're just gonna put both of them here. It's got some yellow and white text. And here's another one. And I wear all these shirts, so uh, I'm actually very happy about that. I have almost too many wrestling uh, shirts now. Oh, okay, nice contrast. So black, white, nice balance. We're gonna take a look at everything else first, and then we'll be looking at that. Remember that this box is $25 a month plus shipping for more details pro wrestling loot.com and i have uh, a lapel pin oh check that out it is too sweet and finally people because i feel like i've been talking about this for ages if you check out my other videos this is not necessarily new to you but if you look behind me i actually have a pin board which uh, the original one that we ordered from Amazon was supposed to be a blue background. Uh, this one came, you know, came in black. Uh, I didn't want that because, I don't know, it's like black border, black background. But as you can see, most of the Pro Wrestling Loop pins have been placed here in addition to some of the video game stuff. I'm not going to take it out because the the nail that is that it is uh, placing that, it's going to fall if I even budget. So I know the, the Bullet Club can no longer do this, but hey. It's not about the Bullet Club, it's about everything in wrestling that is simply too sweet, so too sweet me. BAM! We have a couple of autographs, I believe, my friends. Let's try to... I'm, I'm struggling with this right now, okay. Oh, okay, I, I kind of saw something, which I believe is the second part of the Marty Scroll. Uh, did I get it right this time? I'm not even going to try to repeat it, look at the other video if you don't know what I'm talking about, but... Here's the second part of that. Oh my god! I just saw one of the autographs! That is, that, okay, that's too sweet. You guys are gonna see it in just a second. But check it out, yet another part of the Marty, that man, the villain, ha, the villain. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that for the next video, so in December, I'll be putting out the other one so we can actually put the piece together and hypothetically by January, we should be good to go with all of them. And uh, I actually have my wall. I'm slowly shaping it up, although we eventually got to paint this wall, so that's all going to go down. But I already got spoiled by this, but maybe one of my favorite items. You guys know I love me some WCW Cruiserweight action. And Pro Wrestling Loot has been doing an excellent job of portraying the Cruiserweights in the past couple of boxes with Juventud Guerrero, Psychosis, and now Ultimo, or Ultimate for a little while, Dragon. And the first time that I ever saw this guy was in the WCW NWO World Tour game for uh, like the N64 game versus the World. I think he was. I think he was in the World for PS1. Not too sure about that, but you know the Asai Moonsault, the Asai DDT, uh, Asai Bowls. Do you guys like Asai Bowls? I mean, they're delicious, although they are high in carbs. Has nothing to do with this right now. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of his. It's a shame that his WWE run did not exactly go according to plan. Uh, let me know if you have a favorite match in particular about this very talented superstar. So I'm going to put this over here because we're not done. And uh, this this is the back of the thing. So, oh, check this out. This is a, is this a Bruno Sammartino comic book? I think it is. So let's take a look at the outside. A very, very nice quality. I like the drawing there. Very shiny. Reminds me a little bit of a Grand Theft Auto V. You know, the, the art style. I think I think you know what I'm talking about. Italy, 1944. I was born on October 6th, 1935 in the village. Oh, man. So is this like a full-on sort of biography thing based on his real life? Because if so, this is absolutely awesome. And I'm just going to go to the end of the pages just to have some context. So... It does seem to be like he, he leaves, and uh, that's your opponent's son, to be continued. Oh, to be continued. So 
anything that that gives me a, a little bit more insight to Bruno Sammartino, one of the one of the biggest wrestling legends of all time. Let me know what you thought about him. Obviously, he was not part of my generation or even the one before it because, I mean, he was he's like the, the definition of a pioneer, right? And I saw we have uh, two more things. So this is the Certificate of Authenticity for uh, the Ultimate Ultima Dragons autograph. And very recently, uh, Rey Mysterio came back to the WWE. I, I know that he's actually been wrestling in, in California, other places, you know, before WWE. The man looks to be in tip-top shape in 2018, and that is simply insane. As somebody that grew up watching Rey Mysterio in WCW, the fact that he's still going, mind-blowing, mind-blowing. So check that out, and I believe that is it for the box. We just have the uh, breakdown item list here, so we're going to take a look at that at the very end of the video, and I got to be careful because this, this is a big box. I don't want to mess it up, so or I don't want to mess anything here up, so... That was a soft, maybe maybe not too sweet throw. I'm, I'm sorry I disappointed a couple of you, but we have two shirts. I'm going to put them up in front. I get to do a double, a double patented shirt size check, and they are shirt size. Oh, man, I don't know how to do this. I've never done a double before. Shirt sizes, if you will. Medium and medium. Yeah, okay. How weird would it be if they sort of messed one up? It's like, hey... Medium triple XL or actually I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just randomly flip them back and forth because I don't want to know. Okay, I'm gonna do this one first, and it is the black one. Okay. Oh, I think it's Kamala. I think it's Kamala. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's a bunch of wrestlers that have Amala unless it's like Amala Mania. I don't know. So reveal in three, two, one. Bam. Look at that. I've actually been seeing uh, or hearing, I guess, uh, a bunch of Kamala stories from WCW. Uh, I don't really keep up with today's, you know, uh, current WWE wrestling, although I watch NXT, NXT UK. Just finished watching one of the latest episodes with uh, Pete Dunne and uh, Danny Burch. That was a really solid match. I, I like what they're doing with NXT UK. Keep at it. You know, simple, straight to the point. Other stuff that I love to check out is wrestling podcasts like Something to Wrestle, 83 Weeks. And in there, you hear a couple of Kamala stories that are not necessarily great, but I mean, he is part of wrestling history, whether you want to admit it or not. So very cool shirt. Um, not really one of my favorite wrestlers, so I'm, I'm not sure where I would find myself wearing this, but maybe for a video or something. I, I don't know if I would wear a Kamala shirt on the outside, though, just because it's like I'm not a big fan of him. I, I don't like to be a hypocrite. You know, I wear a New Day shirt because I like me the New Day, even though I can't gyrate. We're going to go to the other one. It's a Lucha Libre Knight, so I think it's more of a general Lucha Libre shirt, which I'm perfectly okay with. I mean, I got no problem with that, so three, two, one, bam! Lucha Libre Knight, Arena Mexico, Mexico City. I really like that style. Super simplistic. I can't get it right there. Oh, there we go. So very nice attention to detail. Great quality with uh, both shirts. And I'm a big fan of uh, professional wrestling of the cruiserweight variety, especially like now you have 205 Live with guys like Buddy Murphy, Mustafa Ali. They are really knocking it out of the park. Uh, we're actually going to be talking about WrestleMania 14 and an upcoming episode of A Cast of the Past, which is a, a podcast that comes up every single Sunday. We talk about video games, movies, and wrestling. And in that one, we talk about WrestleMania 14, which I just mentioned. And there's a cruiserweight about uh, or a light heavyweight bout, I guess, in that show that I really dislike for many different reasons. And when you think about flippy stuff for the sake of flippy stuff versus you incorporate the athleticism into storytelling and wrestling, like the guys in 205 Live, like uh, Buddy Murphy, which I mentioned, that is just a uh, sweet, no pun intended in that one, actually. It's the perfect balance, right? You have this high octane action, but you have the storytelling in the ring. And that right there just meshes together so damn well. And I'm a really big fan of that. So if you check out 205 Live or NXT UK or even just regular NXT, let me know which is your favorite guy there right now, as well as your favorite mass superstar, which I'm assuming for maybe uh, many, it's going to be Rey Mysterio. So let's get to the, oh, this is, I mean, I really, I really like this, this uh, picture here. So check it out. As always, we have the uh, breakdown item list at the front here. I have the yes, yes. Yes, towels going on. 
That's an awesome towel. Seriously, I actually contemplated putting it up on the wall, but I wasn't sure how to do it because I'm not going to shower with it because it's too short. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I could go places. I'm not going to go there. But they always highlight so many awesome people, and, and I really do love that they take their time for that. Oh, what is this? So apparently, um, there's more than one Lucha Libre shirt. I like the one that I got, although that one looks super, super corny, but in a really good way, like my kind of comedy or my kind of preference. So I would not mind that one as well. So they actually highlight the the final detail of that Marty of the Villains uh, collective art piece. We have the Ultimo Dragon uh, autograph, the two t-shirts, the Bruno San Martino comic, the pin, and the trading card. All of this for 25 and under. I mean, think of just how much. This shirt was given to me by an awesome friend, but it costs like $17 or $18 regular price at, at Hot Topic, right? But look at these shirts, really good quality. I like simplistic shirts. Like I will wear this one every once in a while, but I actually wear it most most times on stream or for videos or if I'm hanging out with friends here. But when I go out in public, I like the simplistic stuff. I, I just even outside of wrestling, I prefer the simple shirts. So I think that's a really good reason why I like the pro wrestling loot shirts. Let me know which was your favorite item. For me, it absolutely has to be. That is not it. It has to be the uh, Ultimo Dragon autograph. Once again, I'm just so so big into WCW Cruiserweight action that I mean, hey, you can't you can't go wrong with this. The problem is obviously I'm not going to be a fool and tape this to my wall. So I need to figure out, you know, some nice frames, but there's only so much space and I don't want to have my wall only be wrestling. So if you notice, I'm actually trying to do wrestling, uh, video games. I have a VHS box there for no reason whatsoever other than because I can. Yeah, folks, that's going to be doing it for this unboxing for the November edition of the Pro Wrestling Loot Box. Once again, December is just around the corner, and I'm not going to spoil it, but based on what they said on social media, it should be a pretty fun, pretty different month than their regular offerings because if my memory serves me right, they've been focusing mostly on autographs, T-shirts, but they haven't been doing a lot of toys in the past couple of boxes, and they did reveal that they are going to be working on that. So I'm very excited for that. As always, uh, my my channel mostly focuses on video games, video game discussion, but it's it's a vessel to just simply put have a really good time. So if you have any ideas for future videos, don't be afraid. Go to the comment section of the video. Let me know what you would love to see right here on the channel. Don't forget to check out a cast of the past right here on YouTube. You can also enjoy my wife and myself streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash TV. And if you want to help all of the above, you can begin, if you're right here on YouTube, by simply put hitting that subscribe button, hitting that notification sticker. A lot of hitting right now, but only with items that are on your screen on your phone's app. So up until next time, uh, thank you for watching and supporting. And never forget, folks, that this unboxing video has concluded but the epic journey continues. So thank you for watching, gang. Take care. What's like the best Kamala match? I'm serious. Like, I think that I just don't like a lot of wrestling from that time. Not even like uh, against Kamala. But, man, even in WrestleMania 14, I had it rough. So wrestling, people can say storytelling has gotten worse or better or whatever, more politically correct or something. But... Wrestling as a whole, I think, has gotten a lot better, even even though WWE right now, not a lot of people are happy with it. But hey, there's so much other stuff that it's hard to complain, right? Thanks for watching, gang.